Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicBWBugs.com and in this short tip I'm going to show you how to time your bug. And uh, it's pretty simple actually, you're not going to need a uh, timing light or a gun or anything like that. Uh, all you're really going to need is your uh, 3 inch inch size uh, ratchet, a uh, good 5 to 6 inch extension, and a 10 millimeter socket. Um, and then you're also going to need what you can probably pick up at an AutoZone. Um, or any of your local uh, auto parts stores, a little test light like this. This is all you need to time your bug. And uh, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it and uh, also show you some differences in pulleys uh, that they had um, during those years and also show you differences in maybe some uh, distributors. So, uh, all right, let's get to it. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do here is um, make sure you're on cylinder number one. And as you can see here, I have a 009 distributor okay um, usually in these years or whatever uh, your bug you have there's a vacuum advance on the end of your distributor um, so where there your rotor points to number one might be different usually on the 009 distributors the rotor is going to point to number one down more in like this direction here if you have one with a vacuum advance, it'll most likely point to the back towards actually number one. So uh, what you're going to want to do is there's notches on your pulley uh, down. I see I marked them over here, but basically if you start moving your fan belt, I'm getting over to number one. Okay, let's keep going. All right, here's my notches. Okay, if you look at the pulley that I have here, I have three notches. One, two, three. Uh, this first notch is top dead center. The second notch is seven and a half degrees before top dead center. And then this notch is ten degrees before top dead center. Most bugs, uh, depending on the distributor that you have, uh, will time at seven and a half degrees before top dead center. Uh, that's where we always time them, that's where the manuals tell you where, uh, to time them, and uh, that's what we pretty much abide by. Um, now let me basically tell you there are some differences in the pulleys throughout the years. Some pulleys don't even have these notches in them. Uh, some pulleys might just have these, uh, these, these two, which would be 7.5 degrees and then 10.5 degrees, uh, 10 degrees. Um, and then some pulleys have a little dimple in the front lip and that's basically it. They'll just have that dimple. If you have just that dimple, that means that dimple is top dead center. So then what you could do is you could then make a mark directly across from it for top dead center and then measure with a ruler 7 16 over to the right and then that will be seven and a half degrees before top dead center. Some um, have the dimple and then a notch over to the left of the dimple. And that's basically, that's five and a half degrees after top dead center. Um, that's not what we usually time our bugs with. So once again, you'll have to then make a mark straight across from the dimple and then seven sixteenths and over. So uh, for the most part, it's not that difficult to do. Um, they do sell pulleys on the market today that have the numbers already on them. So you can always go for those. Okay, so then once again, let me just quickly talk about the row of the distributor again and uh, where your rotor should be pointing. Now when we line our pulley up, your notch is on seven and a half degrees before top dead center. You want to make sure that notch is lined up with the split in the block. Okay, so that's how you know you're, you're going to get timed correctly. Um, we have the 009 distributor, so our rotor points to number one in this direction. If you have one with the vacuum advance, it's probably going to point in this direction towards the back. But what you could do is put the cap back on, and then wherever it's pointing to, which would be this wire, you can then follow this wire and it goes all the way to the back uh, to the number one uh, spark plug and to the number one cylinder back there. So that's another way you can test it out. But um, yeah, for the most part, the 009 distributors will point in this direction, the vacuum advances will point in the other direction. Um, you just, when you, when you line the, the pulley up to the split in the block, it'll either be on number one or number three cylinder. So you just want to make sure you're pointing to the number one cylinder, not number three. Number three on, you know, on this distributor would be, let's see, one, four, three would be pointing back there. So that's not something we want to uh, point to. So you'll be misfiring at that point. So 
If you have the short stubby distributor, maybe the half the size of this distributor, those types of distributors will time to top dead center, not seven and a half degrees. Okay, so now here's how we time our bug. Basically, we, like I said, we have our pulley lined up to the split in the block to seven and a half degrees before top dead center. You got your rotor pointed to number one cylinder, and now you gotta wanna pull out your little test light. Okay, like I have here. Poke that into the carburetor here somewhere to ground it. And then you find the wire that comes off the distributor that goes to the negative side of the coil. Usually it's just the only one that's hooked to the negative side, the only uh, wire. And then you want to hook your alligator clip from your test light to the negative side where that uh, wire gets plugged into where it from the distributor. Then you get your ratchet out and your 10 millimeter socket and you start loosening the nut down here that holds the distributor tight into the block of the engine. You can see that nut down here. Let me see if I can zoom in here for you. Right down there. See, let me get this wire out of the way. Right there. That's the one you loosen up. Okay, then you go inside your car and turn your key to the on position. So the two lights and the dashboard come on. Then once you have that, you come back to the uh, gear engine here and you start turning the distributor counterclockwise until the little light comes on, just like that. And that's how you now timed your bug. That's all there is to it. I'll show you again. If you back off, see the light went out, counterclockwise, boom. Now you're seven and a half degrees before top dead center and you're timed correctly and your Volkswagen should run efficiently now. Just tighten this up. So she don't move, you don't have to muscle too tight. Just as long as she doesn't move, get this wire out of the way. Put your cap back on. Okay, take your test light out. And then uh, you can start her up. And then from that point on, you are timed. Um, some people do advanced their, uh, their bug engines a little bit more. Some people, te you know, uh, will time them to the 10 degrees before top dead center. That's fine too, it's not going to really do too much damage. Um, you know, for the most part, you, your bug will have probably a little more pep at that point. But uh, for the most part, I, I try to go by the book and uh, from the experts that I've uh, learned from, such as my bud Rick Higgins. And, um, and that's basically it. Uh, your car will run efficiently, it will not overheat, and uh, you should be good to go. Um, if you guys got any questions at all, uh, feel free to email me, uh, chris at classicvwbugs.com or my website, www.classicvwbugs.com. Take care.